everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. This is the second video of the Android 101 playlist, and today we're going to talk about how to use the home screen on your Android phone. You've probably heard that Android is very customizable, and this is where we're gonna dive in and show you exactly what you can do to make the phone work exactly like you want it to. And let's get started. To set up and personalize your home screen, there's a bunch of things that you can do. The first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is add a application to the home screen. So this is using the newest version of Android called Android Nougat. If you have an older version, it may be a little different, but I'll show you some of the things that you can do. So your phone may have an app drawer, so it will say apps down here at the bottom. On the Galaxy SA, all I need to do to get to the app drawer is swipe up. So here's where all my different applications are stored. If you have a lot of applications, you would swipe over to see all of those on this device. Again, if I want to add one of these, so say I wanna add Facebook right to the home screen, all I have to do is hold that down, and on this phone, I'm gonna drag it up to the top, and then now I can place it wherever I would like on the screen. So there I have Facebook. Let's say I wanna add another application. So I'm gonna use YouTube quite a bit, of course, on this. So I'm gonna drag YouTube up here. And now I have these two apps together. I like to have a lot of different applications on my phone and I like to sort them into folders. So if I wanna make a folder, all I have to do is hold down and drag it over the other app. And sometimes they'll kind of jump around, but you just gotta be quick enough where it jumps onto that. And now it has created this folder. And I could name that folder if I want. I'm gonna call this uh, maybe social, then hit done. And on the S8, I can click the color icon here and I can adjust the color that the folder is. So when I go back here, you'll see that it is now a green folder so you can color code your device a little bit. So then if I want to, maybe I wanna add another app down here. If I go back up into the drawer and maybe I want to add the clock, so I'm gonna drag that. And on the S8, you do have these other options where I can click select or I can learn about app info. So if I click select, I can also click multiple applications here. So if I click multiple of those, it also has an option to create a folder right here. So you'll see it did exactly what I did, but it creates those instantly in the app drawer. And then if I want to add that to the home screen, I just hold down, again, drag it up here, and now I can add that folder right on my home screen. But if I wanna add another app down here, I could even just grab this folder and drag it and drop it here. You'll see that everything on the home screen moves around as I position these. So this Google search bar will even move around. So this search bar is called a widget. So widgets allow you to have quick information on the screen. If you would like to add a new widget, all you need to do is find a blank piece of the screen and do what's called a long press. So there are a few different types of presses or taps. So here, if I just tap on the screen, it's going to select something. If I want to do a bit more, I hold down and that is called a long press. So here, if I long press the home screen, it is then going to give me a few different options here. So I can see that if I go to the right, I can click the plus and that will add two home screens. So now I have the one screen and the two, and that's all I have. I can also go this way to set up the new Bixby Home, or you might see Google Now or something else on your phone. But to add that widget, I wanna to go to this blank new screen, long press, and then here I have some options on the phone. I have wallpapers and themes, widgets, as well as home screen, settings. So if I go into the widgets, I can then choose whatever type of widget I want. You can do almost anything with these widgets. So here, maybe I want a calendar right on the home screen. So I'm going to do is tap on that. And then I want the full month right on the screen. So here's the month. 
And on this, I'm gonna long press and then drop it on that screen. And here it's giving me a few different options. I can choose if I wanna do white or a black background. And then I can also change if it's transparent, which is really cool. So then when I'm done, all I need to do is click the back button or press the back button. And I even have options to resize it. If I wanted it to be a little bit smaller, I can do that right on the screen. So now I'm done, I'm just gonna click back again. So now we have my home screen as well as the, the other screen that has the widget. Again, if I wanna go back home, I just press the home button there. If you would like to change the home button, so um, I can either long press or if I go back, I can pinch. So a pinch is using two fingers and pinching them together. So here's the pinch. It will also show me these settings again down here at the bottom. So let's say I wanna add another screen here. And then let's say I want the calendar to be my main screen. So all I need to do is you'll see here that that home is highlighted in white. If I go over this way, I can click the home right there and that is now my home screen. So if I'm on this page and I click the home button, it's gonna take me right back to that calendar. And again, if I wanna switch it, I can just pinch and I could choose this one as the home screen, whichever one you would like. I'm gonna keep this one as my main home screen. And then maybe if you came in here and you added a new screen and you don't want so many screens to go through, so here I have all these different home pages I can go through, you can actually delete them. So again, I'm gonna pinch or long press and then up here I have a delete option. You may also get the option to drag this up into a garbage box. But I'm just gonna click delete and it's gonna go away. If I want to put my calendar on the other side of my home screen, I can also hold down and drag that screen and it's gonna move it. You'll see it moves it over to the side and you can rearrange those any way you would like to. So here let's add another widget. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my home screen and do this. I'm gonna add a widget right here. And I have other widgets here. I can add a clock. I can add bookmarks from Google Chrome. And as you download more applications, you'll see more widgets pop up. Here I can add a magnifier, Gmail. So you can go through these. I would encourage you to play with one at a time to learn about what it can do. And then here you can see your text messages right on the home screen, or maybe you want to add a quick Google Maps navigation. But as what I wanna do, let's just add this magnifier real quick, just to show you guys. So magnifier allows me to magnify other objects. So if I click magnifier, and maybe there's some text that I can't read, I can pull this up and it will allow me to, let's see if we look on here, I can magnify an object You'll see how big that got so that I can actually read it. Even gives me an option to turn on the flashlight. And ooh, we can go really far in the let's see, magnification. So that's one of the cool widgets that you can add. Um, but one of the other ones that I really like is the contacts widget. So if I hold down here, I go to widgets and then I go to the contacts right here. So here I want to add a contact widget. So if I click on that, it will give me the three different options. If you select this option, it will give you the option to call or text that contact. The direct dial will allow you to dial them as soon as you click the widget. And here the direct message will allow you to instantly text them. So I'm just gonna show you what this contact one looks like. So again, long press and then drop it where you would like. And then here I'm gonna select a contact and now it has added a shortcut right to that contact. So I no longer have to go into the text messaging app, the dialer, just to contact them. So if I click on that widget, it pulls up their contact information. I can then call um, text or some phones if you have the support video chat right there. So that's how you quickly go in and then of course if I text, it's gonna pop up this message box 
and I can text right there. So that is how you use the widgets on your home screen on Android. If you would like to change the background of your phone, all you need to do is go into the pinch area or long press and here you can choose wallpapers and themes. On a Samsung phone, the themes will allow you to completely adjust how the phone looks. But if I just click the wallpapers here, you're gonna get this pop-up and this is really important. These pop-ups you'll see often whenever you download new applications and essentially it's saying, do you give permission for this app to access other parts of the phone. So it's saying, do you want it to access photos and media? And I'm like, yes, I do, because I want to choose new pictures. So it has to access those photos to do it. So I'm gonna click allow. If you click deny, some of your apps may not function the proper way. So here I can go to the wallpapers and it is giving me some options up here at the top, as well as if I click more, I can, go and download some more wallpapers right from Samsung. So if I just wanna use a picture that I have on my phone already, I just need to click right here and I can select an, a picture from my album to the background. So then I get options here to say if I wanna add it as a home screen, which is the home page, your lock screen, that's when the phone is locked or the home screen and lock screen. So I'm just gonna say home screen right now. So I took this awesome selfie. I want to add it there. You also have a option for motion effect. So that means that when you move the phone, it will adjust to how you move it. It kind of gives it this cool 3D look. And then I can click set wallpaper. And then I want to hit apply so that it actually adds that. So now I go back to the home screen. There's my uh, crazy looking selfie and you'll see that kind of motion effect as I move that. Then if I wanna go back to my old wallpaper, pinch, wallpapers, and I can select that and hit set wallpaper and it will add that back. If you would like to edit a widget that's already on there, all you need to do is touch the widget and it will dive in and give you more info. Here it is showing Celsius, so if I wanna change that, I can just click the settings and then click settings again and I can change this unit from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So most applications, you will see that there is a settings up here and that's the three dots that you have. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn all about how to customize your Android home screen. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. If this video helped you out in any way, I'd love for you to hit the like button so that I can know this type of video is something you would like to see more often. If you continue watching, you'll be going to the next video. You can also check these other videos out here if you'd like some more in-depth videos on the Galaxy S8. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.